And welcome back to The Long Run, where we are playing Lufia and the Fortress of Doom uh, Restored. And um, J-Pop's here now. Hey, everyone. What's up? So, um, the last time in, well, in the first half, we um, did a little bit of traveling, a lot of wandering around. And then we ended up here in the town of, I uh, checks notes. Paris. Oh. Um, <laughs> I was 12 years old reading that. Yeah. Um, I had the same reaction. Whoa, beautiful. Cool, you look at this flower. Rivia? Yes, amazing. So many of them, and they're in bloom. Hey, Coolio, is this flower special? Seems to be. Wonderful, really beautiful. Luffy seems so happy. I know, she's loved flowers ever since she was a little girl. Coolio, you've known Luffy that long? Uh, I guess you could say that. I'm a little jealous. Yeah, I couldn't tell. This village is wonderful! I love this place already! Did you have fun? Oh, yes! Well, let's go then. Okay. <laughs> Some of the conversation in this is just very matter-of-fact. Like, <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay. <laughs> wow, I haven't seen so many! Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Villager and magicians, we lock the cave door. How do you get through? Luffy opened it. Only the most skilled magician is supposed to know the seal. Luffy, hey, you're very experienced, I see. No, not really. You should meet the error. The, the error? You should meet error in the Tower of Grief. You're a magician, you can learn a lot from him. I believe I made an error there in the reading. Alright, let's see if there's anything that we can buy. Oh, that is a long list of items. Also, I keep forgetting going... I, I keep forgetting to go into, um look mode. Not really a whole lot for weapons. We already have half known both the silk, the shields, red berets are here. And they're a little lighter for more defense, so let's buy two of those. I always try to press X to bring up the, the sub screen. I feel like most games you press X to bring up the menus. Or like the button that is uh, in the X Nintendo position, the top the top face button. I know you said that very clearly, but I can't help it. PlayStation ruined it for me forever. I, I don't know the letters. I do know where they are, but uh, I have to think about it. But the all X square circle and triangle forever now. I mean, I can I can deal with that. Like, I, I can absolutely deal with the PlayStation uh, button designations. It's when I have to deal with a friggin' Xbox controller, and it's like, it's designed on purpose to be confusing for Nintendo players, I swear. <laughs> I agree, I never get it right. Never. Because A and B and X and Y are reversed. Yes. And it, it like, to bring up a previous uh, conversation, 
that we were having, like, it's the same on the Dreamcast. And it's pretty obvious that Microsoft based a lot of their technology for the Xbox on the Dreamcast because, like, I believe the Dreamcast ran, like, a version of Windows, of, like, Windows CE or something. I did not know that. And yet the Dreamcast never Whoa. blue screened. At least I don't think so. Uh-oh. What? What? Uh-oh. 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 Uh <laughs> I think the game crashed, guys. Or it hasn't <laughs> crashed, but like, it's definitely like locked up in this position. Well, I guess we gotta reset then. Wow. Oh, we didn't lose a whole lot. That's... We did lose this cutscene, so I'm gonna have to. Replay this. Also, like, I didn't really realize everyone has a different, um, a different dialogue beat. So Artea has the lowest, and then me, and then Lufia, and then, um, Jaren. Alright, so we gotta go to the Tower of Grief, which sounds like a great time. Now I'm gonna pay attention to... to the... Oops. Ah! <laughs> Does he see anything different? Alright, we've already decided on what we're buying from here. Which is, um, two red berries. Red Barrett's. Red Barrett's? Barrett's. Equipping entire Final Fantasy characters. Exactly. But yeah, that was um, really weird what happened there. And it's hard to <laughs> say that if it's like something that would have happened in vanilla or something that happened because of the hack. That's, yeah, I... I mean, that's... That's the type of thing that happens when you blow on the controller, or well, not the controller, <laughs> you blow on the controller, you blow, you blow on, the, on control. the cartridge, you blow inside the thing. And then you fall when you hurt from heaven. Attack, Coolio, and you're still asleep. I guess it's not one of those games, huh? Yeah. Just confusion. I, and even then, it's not guaranteed that if an enemy hits a confused player, it may not take off take off their con their confusion. But if you hit your own character, then it definitely will. And another dragon. A dragon ball! From my understanding, there are eight of those in the world, and I hope that uh, I got all of them so far, because... Also, another colored ring. I should probably review these rings. This is a purple ring. Increases all stats. And this is a direct upgrade. I'm guessing it's like... The blue ring plus the red ring is the purple ring. I'm gonna give when you the, the yellow ring and the blue ring make the green ring. 
Yeah, and we have the green rings right here. I know my colors! Yay! Oh boy! I feel like you had to learn some of that in uh, your uh, in the game you were playing yesterday. In my escape room, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, like I was saying, I would have liked to participate a little more in that, but uh, I was not particularly in the mood. I hear ya. I had a really fun time with it. I actually can't wait to do it again. Yeah, it, it looked like a pretty good game, honestly. But, like, personally, I would, like, I... I've played a few, like, escape room video games, like, basically the Zero Escape series, that's what it is. But, um, like, I, I'd really like to try, like, a real escape room with other people. I have to say, that is probably more fun with, with friends, but I, I... I mostly don't know, because I've gone maybe four or five or six times, and um, most of the time it's been with my brother and with friends and family. So you know the people there, Yeah. you know, because with it's just like online. If you get randos, you never know what you're going to get. Maybe people won't be interested. Or maybe you get people who want to be way too commanding of a situation, or, you know, you're not so sure uh, what you can get going into it. And, you know, usually if you're, you're going to do it with friends, if there are certain friends you don't want or know certain attitudes about them, you're just not going to invite them. Uh, but it's, it's really a good... It really is a good time, and experience does clearly help, because you get a time limit, but, yeah. you know, if it's like an hour or something, man, it goes fast, you know, yeah. but, like, you're allowed to use some hints, people watching, you know, uh, the people working there, they will prod you in the right direction, like, if you start really sniffing out the right thing, you know, um, they'll help you uh, just stumble into it just the, uh, in, in just the right way, you know? Um, yeah, like, I, I did actually, like, uh, during the um, Geekwinox convention uh, last year, uh, I did do a uh, kind of a mini escape room exhibition that... Uh, one of the local escape room places has. Uh, it's It was half an hour and any number of players, including just yourself, if that's you know, all you got. And I just kind of did it myself. And um, it wasn't great by myself because like there's a lot of things that I ended up missing and it's like really dark as well and stuff. But um, like when when I was getting up to my half hour, it's like the 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 owner just came came around back and started like pointing, hey, have you checked this? Have you checked that? And also there was one puzzle that that was um, that I ended up kind of reading incorrectly, and it's like, yeah, that that one was made by the previous owner of the company, and uh, I might end up changing that one at some point. It was like basically like you had to uh, build a map out of like these large wooden tiles and that revealed a four digit code but I was trying to read the code um, in the order of the path which was incorrect you had to read it like like a book so you know, left to right top down. I know, sometimes you can really fall down the rabbit hole with the ideas, um, you know, and get caught up in whatever way you're thinking. Yeah. 
I am Flake, Elder of Aris. You fought the Sinisters. You know about that? Feel the energy and you'll know right away. Hmm, strong power. I sense great ability. You can see through Kulio's character. People are always more than they appear to be. Agro, don't be rude. <laughs> it's alright. The truth is always best. More importantly, who removed the, the magic barrier to the village? I did. You must have great skill to remove such a barrier. Come here. Your powers will grow. I sense much potential. Really? Oh yes, but you've only begun to understand. Let me help you. Close your eyes. Alright? Awake! I call upon those powers yet untouched. Come forth! Lufia's max in MP increases by 10. Wow! Magic increased merely by those simple words. It's not my power, she's always had it. I simply drew it out. I had no idea it was there. You learned through battle, that's the hard way. Had you studied, you'd have discovered it earlier. I can't thank you enough. I sense a great imba imbalance. I fear we may see the return of doubts in the Sinistrals. We're looking for Professor Rail. Do you know him? Ah, uh, he returned to the lab. You just missed him. Okay. Thanks, Guru. Thanks, Guru. Thanks for not being Guru Larry. Now you must fight me! Wait, what? Bang, bang, bang! You must fight the old man to draw out your potential! Actually, right, I can just throw myself off the side. Forgot about that. That's their escape mechanic. <laughs> right there. Just fling yourself off. It's fine, there's no there's no fall damage here. Jump off everyone. Fall damage haven't been invented yet. Hmm, <laughs> excuse me. That was a big kick up. Um No, he went back to the lab, so he wouldn't be here, right? Yeah. So we would need to go to Platina work actually. Upstairs. Okay. Well, you look important. You must be Professor Rail. Hey, don't touch anything without asking. The other day, men touch a machine that turns people into frogs. That was a tough one. What? What happened to him? Ah, he got better. Too bad that I made a new frog to people machine, but he came back as a snake instead. <laughs> snake? Then he became a lizard, then an iguana. Some people are just unlucky, I guess. Did he ever return to normal? Ah, yes, after three days, he's a. I never want to see a lizard's face as long as I live. <laughs> I feel sorry for him. Excuse me, who are you anyway? You don't look like my lab students. I'm cool, you. You don't know. <laughs> and these are my friends, Agro, Jaren, and Luffy. We're looking for a rail Shyla. Would that be you? Yes, it would. I am the genius rail Shyla. Why the why the face? You don't believe me, is that it? No, of course not, but No, of course I don't believe you. 
fuck you. <sighs> Alright, I'll prove it to you. You look fi like fine. There's, there's way right here. How about this tonic? With this, you'll have four arms. Be twice as strong. Oh, no, I don't think so. No? I've already run experiments on this, so the effects are guaranteed. You did? On who? Let's see. You're Jerry, right? For you. This is perfect. It's guaranteed to make your hair grow. Really? Well, maybe I could try... Don't you dare. I see. You won't like it if my hair looks better than yours. <laughs> Even if you try it, my hair will still be longer. Isn't that right, Coolio? Thank you for the 300 bits, Mazzy. Also, hello. Welcome. Well, I wouldn't know. I've never really thought about it. Can't you tell? Why are your eyes anyway? I'm not always looking at your hair. Hey, Coolio, Bufio, what are you two talking about? Right, we're not here to talk about hair. We're here for a ship that goes under the sea. Ah, you mean Falcon, one of my best inventions. And Falcon can really travel underwater? Not only that, it can fly through the air. Wow, where is it? It is docked in the basement. I normally don't show it to anyone. However, I'll let you see it. BRT plus Y76B. Oh, uh, Earth plus. And then it looks like strong bad, but is being eaten by numbers. Just a second, I'll open the door. This is Falcon. Isn't she amazing? Not really. It looks like a toy boat. Toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. Coolio, this ship is covered with dust. The wings are a little chipped. Hmm, there's a hole in the ceiling. Sorry to ask, but you never used Falcon before, have you? Ugh, how did you know that? Well, anyone could tell just by looking at it. Well, if that's all you have to say, I'll give you a demonstration. Right now? You wanted to use Falcon, didn't you? I'm saying you can. Are you having second thoughts? Actually, he's right. Are you seriously getting into this thing? Uh, what are you waiting for? Let's go! Come on, we need, we need this ship to find a dual blade. Everyone ready? Ahead half speeds! Prepare to dive! Is this vessel really seaworthy? What are you taking me for? Hey, it's leaking! Are, are you sure you won't sink? We're fine, pipe down! Getting soaked. Prepare to surface. I think traveling above the sea was a better idea. Will you be quiet? You amateurs know nothing. There's a slight problem. Underwater navigation is impossible. There is no problem on the surface, though. Of course I can repair it, but my equipment isn't here. Come to Shia Lab 3 later. Straight west from here. He ran away, didn't he? I guess so. You just wanted to leave us here with this contraption, didn't you? Yeah, he's different, that's for sure. But somehow I like him. He doesn't seem so bad. Anyway, we can travel across the sea now. Let's make good use of it. Let's head for Shia Lab 3. He said he could repair Falcon, right? Oh my goodness, that boat's going 400 kilometers an hour. You. You know the world could be ours. Just put your trust in me. 
We'll keep the good times rolling. Wait and see, wait and see. Yeah, I I still kind of want to do a thing where I do some singing for peoples, but uh, I don't know how possible that is. Right now. How many bits will it take you to sing something? Huh? I, I don't know that I can sink this boat on purpose. Oh, to sing something. Uh, I hope I heard I, it right. I, I, I had misheard you. I thought you said sink. Because, you know, we're in a boat, that and me. my character is definitely sunk right there. <laughs> Coolio has assumed the position. Oh, dear. Anyway, um... I, I am not accepting bits to thing on stream. I I have a plan for something that I want to do, it just comes down to being able to set everything up to actually do it. Not all okay, night on Discord. Let's go! That's the gist of it, just not not just that. Because if I want to, you know, sing proper, I can't really do it here because I have neighbors. And also, my mic is not the best. Okay, so I can get off the boat pretty much anywhere. I just need to run aground and I've gotten off the boat. The problem is, does the boat follow me if, um, if I warp away. I know it, it's the only answer I have, but I know in two it does. I think it does work that way, but... Of course, the and safest test is to go to a town, save, and then try it. Yeah. And right now, I know that I'm that I need to be heading west actually, but like I want to head east and uh, see if we can find the Isle of Forfeit. <laughs> It'll warp into the town with you, boy. Will they be surprised? I mean, it depends on the town. If I go to like Trek, there's a uh, there's a dock there. If I go if I go to um, uh, to ranks, then there might be a problem. Just beach the boat. <laughs> Oh no, I've been yodeled at. Now do these harpies have face or hands? Or uh, they definitely have a face. Just, uh, they're kind of looking downward, you see. Yeah. And then, and then their arms are their wings, because that okay. usually is the case for harpies. Oh great, we have another Confusor. And also Do I ended up by hitting lore have... Don't actually have arms. Okay, thank you, bro.
But the Harpies ladies do, right? It, it right. depends on which Harpies you're, you're talking about. I don't know what GBP no lag situation is. Grand Pooh Bear. I'm not familiar. It's a joke that he has no pegs. Mario Speedrunner. Okay. Ah, what is this? All streamers don't don't have. Oh legs. dear, this oh. looks like a problem. <laughs> I might not have wanted to come here, but let's try it anyway. The worst that happens if, is we die and lose half our money. And the ship gets left behind. Yeah, the ship's got to come with you. I bet the, uh, there's yeah. a mechanic in there. I mean, that's a lot of damage, but I feel like this might be survivable. Let's try to avoid Jaren dying. Ah. Well, okay. Oof! Oh, jeez! Well, we survived. I mean, we survived, but I'm pretty sure this is not where I'm meant to be. I still want to look inside of here. Why well, are you taking steps fool. before healing? You got a bad habit of doing that. Yeah, I, I, I do that, for sure. <laughs> I Julio, danger, danger. If I can run away, probably best that I do. The four switches in front of the door, then step on the door and switch to open it. Pro close the wrong or choose the wrong order in the alarm will sound. Oh, good. Anyway, I'm probably not supposed to be here because this place reeks of death. <laughs> I see what you did there. Um, so we're gonna try to survive this and then get the hell out of here. Oh, okay, that was not the correct move. Use a miracle on them. Cats revive. Uh, I mean, I can try. Okay, they're not so bad, actually. I say that as they one of them cast Perish with what, yeah, probably was. At least has a low chance of success. Yeah, <laughs> Coolio learned courage by being here way before he, sh he really should. Pilot here. What town is this? Epro. We haven't been here yet. I think we might be here out of sequence. Well, this episode has gone off the rails. The mountain split up. Oh no. I hope it's doing okay. Breakups can be kind of rough sometimes. We start to form in the sea north of town. Riv. 
Indeed. Rest in violence. Hey's to be great booze and harvest northeast of town. Often went there when I was young. Now I'm an old man, you're taking away my ex magic. Oh boy, look at these weapons. How much of an upgrade is this? Holy hell! Yeah, um... We're definitely here out of sequence. Too bad I don't have 38,000 gold. This is where you grind here, get all the levels get the weapons, and then run the rest of the game. I mean, yeah, that's... that's something that some people would end up doing. Yeah, we're not gonna reach 38,000 anytime soon, but, like, the, the fact that we're here also means that I can just come here anytime with warp. Plot twist is curse. <laughs> yeah, these are all some pretty good upgrades that I'm definitely not supposed to have yet. Sell a kidney or two or fifteen. Oh, you're you're sold out. You got some. You got the real goods. Used to have the real goods. And probably will again once I'm supposed to be here. Anyway, since since we're meandering, anyway. Uh, we got, now that I'm level 25, we got two levels of the old cave that we can do. Uh, so we warp to, where was the old cave? Kira? Yeah, and there's the boat over there. Wasn't here off. I think it was. No. Anyone remember where the old cave was? Didn't you have to talk to a guy to go underground, and then? Yeah, but like, I I don't I was it Chernobyl? Yeah, there we go. You have a lot of nerve to take this one on. Wow. Hey, I don't think that we went to the to the fifth level yet, but we got the quest for the sixth one, so I guess let's do that first.
Whoever had that idea to go like every single floor needs to reconsider their actions. Frogula! Okay. This definitely seems like... Oh. This definitely seems like I need to take you out first. It's like, oh, this is it! Oh! <laughs> oh, oh god, oh! Pretty much. Gladius. And plate cloth. Mm. And plate cloth goes to Lufia. And plate mail. Which I'll uh, spread the love a little bit. Let's give that to Argo. Source, life source, and I have too many things. Great. Eat the potions. Uh, so the speed source goes there. Life source goes to Jaren. Vodka goes to Jaren as well. Uh, we don't need this escape. So we can just cast escape. Gives us a couple of, spot, of uh, spots. And the spell source goes to a meat. This charred newt is uh, just health, not much of it. There are a lot of chests in this area now. It's almost another escape, great. It's almost like the deeper you go, the bigger the, the risk reward proposition gets. Who would design things like that? Make sure to scan all of this and find this miracle. Plate helm? Wait, another plate helm? Did I get one in the first one? It's plate gear anyway. Revive. Nothing. A hammer rod? Sounds like something that goes to Lufia. Yes, indeed. Power drug. It's magic. Nothing. Expulsion. Knife shoes. I want to see these knife shoes. Like, someone draw me a picture of what these knife shoes look like. Shoes with knives on the soles. Yeah, th there's somebody with a, a knife that comes out of the shoe, and I'm trying to think of what movie it is. And then needle heels. Let's have needles instead of heels. So they're basically the ultimate stiletto. I really only imagine Bay Bayonetta wearing shoes like that. 
Don't. Oh, uh, you mean the needle heals? Yeah. I know she uses gun, but like just conceptually, right? Yeah. I mean, Bayonetta is like nine feet tall. She can do whatever the fuck she wants. <laughs> Was it Kingsman that had the knife shoot? That might be it. That might be what I'm thinking of. Big steppy hours. Uh-oh. We're being banged. Yeah. Come in. <laughs> this vortex attack is pretty good though. Oh dear. Stop it. Get some help. Ooh, nice crit. Too many things. Okay, uh, we don't need this escape. Carefully do not use the escape. Bombering. Nothing. Nothing. What else can we do? I'd say your three regular potions. You probably don't do anything. Ah, uh, yeah. I guess I could get rid of those. And there's our Miracle Gem, which is what we are looking for from here. So now we can use our uh, nice spell of Get the Fuck Out. But wait! There's one here on the ground! No! It is oh, tainted! No. We will no longer touch it! Damn. Alright, here's your miracle gem. I, I have it here, sir. Huh, I guess you really have to come here like every five levels in order to uh, get everything. Because we I think we skipped the fifth one. All right, so we need to empty out our stuff here a little bit. Uh, before I do that, I'm gonna see if there is any possibility of hand-me-downs. But I don't think there is. Also, this frying pan, I don't think we can really make any use of that. Oh! This battle axe actually is an upgrade. Good thing I checked. We have so many rings now. Increases in power of explosion magic. Actually, I wonder if that would be good for Lufia.
It's a ring from the goddess of explosions. Probably no one knows what I'm talking about there. Okay, uh, let's get rid of some stuff. Uh, once again, I'm gonna hold on to rings. Ah, so much stuff. In the worst case, if, uh, if there's anything that I end up selling that I, um, did not want to sell, we can, we can try to look for the, uh, the Isle of Forfeit once again. Can you find my star rune there too? <laughs> yeah, we, we can, we can probably try to find that. Anyway, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna go to the fifth floor, because like even though we can't like even if we can't get the uh the treasure item in the fifth floor, we can probably get the rest of the stuff there. Unless like now that we've been to the sixth floor, like clears out the fifth floor now. Which would be kinda rude. And it's possible that the the woman may still accept the fifth floor jewel, whatever it may be. Okay, so we do have fifth floor stuff. But we're, we're not here for nothing. We're probably not gonna get the, the benefit of, like, New Year. But yeah, I can, I can definitely look for that uh, special item and uh, see if she'll accept it anyway. Kite shield good for anyone? We already have kite shields. Well, we can sell them. Pull a luck blade. Which I think that one is uh, cursed. Yeah, I think I think the luck blade is the one where um, it's double or nothing damage. And we fought plenty of these guys already. We're gonna have to cross the D. I got a float item, which we can probably spend rather than. Using the float spell, actually. Oh no! Well, we have six of these, all five now. Five. It's kind of hard to tell sometimes, like, which way is forward and which way is just, like, a side area with more stuff. And I'll go to Lufia. You need some navigation? I know a couple folks. Do you? Yeah, I do. Go left. I mean right. Left. Right. Left. Uh, oh jeez. Uh. Uh. <laughs> 
Well, let's bring back the crew from last night, huh? <laughs> But it wasn't, uh, wasn't one of the instructions chat with the water cooler? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. And you already have that Hit it with a hammer. <laughs> Maybe I'll have Lufia cast stronger, actually. And she has way more magic than anyone else. Don't you hate it for non-linear, you know, dungeons? Which is fine. Don't you wish internally for yourself that you hit every wrong turn so you can check all the rooms and the, you know, you want to find the right room last? Yeah. That would be preferable for sure. Or at least have like a mini map of like where you've been. Like that's the thing with with modern games is like I'm I'm definitely gonna say like I've gotten spoiled with uh, later games having more navigation features. But also like those navigation features come from a collective realization that nobody really likes wandering around in a dungeon and not knowing where they're going. I mean... That's what made all of the gaming magazines so valuable, was that somebody did that work, right? It's, that yeah. was the true work that got, uh, um, that you paid for. When you were looking, uh, when you got those types of things, and like in some cases that's okay, but sometimes like they designed a game like to be obtuse on purpose to make you buy the guide, and that's not okay. Then what would you say for a game like Super Metroid? Uh, I don't feel like that was designed to be weird on purpose. Like, one example that I would give is uh, Lunar for the PlayStation, where there's there's some things that were just like, either um, added to the game incorrectly, or uh, just were completely excluded in the first place. And it just felt like something that would make you go and buy the guide, or like... At least by that time it was a lot more possible to look things up online, because like, even GameFAQs was well established by then. Yeah, I'm gonna throw a softball at you. What about Mylon's Secret Castle? Oh boy, um... I'm not really sure what to think about my own secret castle. Because, <laughs> like, that, that one is a very old game and was designed at a time where game design was just a lot different. Anyway, I think. Don't worry, bro. Everything. We'll get to say that someday. We'll say it on stream. Oh, is, uh, is Mylan's Secret Castle showing up in Nerd Rage? It will one day. If not in the next session. I don't know when, no, when it will, but... Didn't figure as much, but, like, that, that's pretty cool. Like, I, I will say, like, the Game Boy version of Mylan's Secret Castle is a lot better. Oh, and it, look at that, she took the gold. You do get paid. Nice. Theoretically, yes. How, how, my way how deep is that <laughs> into the series? Theoretically, yes. Hey, you, you have enough money for that game. holy sword that that uh... holy sword. 
I don't know, that super mega expensive sword. Right, yes, in the town that we were we weren't supposed to be at yet. Episode 64? I mean that that sounds attainable. And especially also if we're gonna skip. You know, because there's some things we're gonna skip. Uh power gloves out. Like we we're not gonna do that. Um Some of them we will like demo through, but we won't spend dedicated time to it. I I, I still remember actually the, the Power Glove episode where like all of the different peripherals that uh, AVGM uh, ended up like reviewing, like he always tried to, to land with Top Gun and he always completely failed. And then the Power Glove perfect 10 point landing and he just looks at the power glove like a gape and just like in awe of what he just did <laughs> and and when he does the the u force with the flying stick or whatever like does no does, does that one he failing i forget but I, I seem to recall he failed pretty much every attempt except with the power glove. I mean, yes, but I mean, that's the lore, but I mean, come on. I, I don't think he actually did it with the power glove. I think it's just footage he put together. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. So, like, it's hard to tell for sure. I feel like that's only something that, you know, people at Cinemassacre know for sure. All right, so now I have a ridiculously overpowered weapon for where I am at in the game. Actually, let, let's see if I can get another one. So, 15600, that sounds attainable. I, I wonder, me, me and Bro may not have a discussion yeah, there we go. here, but like, you know, what do we do for like Mario 3? Because we've done the game, you know? So. I feel like any games that you've already done, uh, may as well just skip. I mean, it's up to you, but like, it, it's, it seems like you you both have done Mario 3. It was a good LP, and like, it doesn't really need to be done again. <laughs> and yeah, and since we did every stage, like, what are we gonna do? Like, cut through half the stages? I don't know. Just throughout the whole, it, it would be the most annoying stream because we just yo fucker. <laughs> oh, wait, is that the wrong one? I don't know. Jesus, Mecha, Death, Christ, or whatever. Um, I mean, I, I don't know if you're referring to the same thing that that uh, that I'm thinking of. Was the best profanity that I that I have ever heard. And, you know, profanity warning for the next, uh, eight seconds. <clears throat> Jesus Christ, riding a cybernetic dinosaur into a volcano. Also, I should probably stay at the end. The best cursing I, I felt was Team Four Star when... Uh, during the bits, they bleep out whatever Vegeta was saying, and then, like, in a clip afterwards, and it was like, uh, why the fruit does all this funny stuff happen to me? <laughs> Forget my life, and it just goes on. <laughs> it was pretty ingenious. When people are, are real intelligent with literacy, I, I I think it's funny. Bye, nerd. Bye, nerd. Come back when you got some hands. 
I'm guessing that I'm not going to be able to dive until I get the, the thing fixed. You probably... Most games that have underwater and flying, they typically give you underwater first. And then once you're done with that, then they give you flying to where you can go wherever the heck you want. Yeah, like... The, the game is expecting us right now to go to, um... The, um... I forget the name of the place, but, like, the... the basically, like, Technology Depot Part 3. Gaia Lab 3 or something. Yeah. Let's go to Platina, actually. Which... I think is just... To the west of here. some pretty intense damage though. Not a fan of that. Also, I need to heal. Stop being a fool, Julio. Your name is not Julio. It's also not Julio, but that's not related. It is also not George. I help you. Also, my name is not Earl. Ah, pity fool! Go on there! You know what? I should... I should probably have a redeem like yours, Zero, or like... With various voice acting. Just, uh... Not locking myself necessarily to one character. Although, I, I, I know for sure that if I did have that redeem, Mazzy would probably immediately jump on it and make me say all of the things as strong bad. Listen, you no good crap for crap! I can do a pretty good strong, uh, strong, uh, I can pretty, do a pretty good home style as well. Help me, we on! I have to admit, the we on help is so iconic, like... I think most people don't really hate Ashley. They hate the concept of Ashley, but they don't hate her. And I don't feel annoyed whenever I think of, you know, Leon. Yeah, like, that, I don't. That's that's kind of fair. I mean, there, there's definitely some thoughts about Ashley, considering that there's a lot of people on the internet who have literally drawn her as a mouse. What is the whole mouse, mousely, mou, mouse, you know, the mouse thing? Yes. What, what? How did that come to be? Someone on the internet did it, and then everyone on the internet did it. That's how the internet works. I mean, you're right. That that's the only explanation I had. I had, which I believe. A bit more to the story. I mean, the internet doesn't need much more than that, but just, just wondering. 
but yeah, I, I've seen like some uh, some depictions of like I think there's like actually a mod at this point that turns her into a mouse, and then she she like randomly goes into your inventory and starts rearranging things. Oh my god! That'd be perfect for Zero. <laughs> I actually, uh, Zero would never do it, and I would try to do it. <laughs> Settler, take her, please. <laughs> I actually would really try to have the most annoying and effed up inventory ever. Just something so painful <laughs> that, like, it, it hurts me <laughs> not being able to find what I have and just... <laughs> Okay, I think just I've so found that word. people word. would look at it and just die inside. It it would totally be something I would do. That sounds like something that you would do. You see anything else? On... Seems more like a prison than an inn. <laughs> to be honest, though, oh, uh, because I know I make fun of Bro's inventory, but I like his uh, his inventory is fine. I'm just purposely nitpicking at stuff, but like. You know, his conceptually makes sense, and I actually love, because he taught me, the golden egg, how it goes in that one spot behind the scope, and that's where it goes. Like, <laughs> it just fits, it works, it's a special thing. If you could mispronounce your inventory, you would. <laughs> Look, that has become my shtick. I will never let it go, okay? <laughs> see, it's, it's a combination of reading too fast, you know, um, doing it for the content, and look, I'm not, I, the, the, I'm, I'm only B+. Plus. I have obvious gaps in my intelligence in places. Cholera! <laughs> oh, look at that. I guess I could have bought the Grand Blade here after all. Uh -huh. So, I didn't get it completely out of order, like I thought I did. I thought I was special. I guess I'm you not special you after thing. all. You thought your your pro speed ran strat to, to faster weapons. Uh, what's in here? Items. Ah, that's okay, buddy. Hey, Coolio, what makes you feel better? In general? <laughs> I mean, I thought you were gonna give me like some options, but like, that, that's a pretty broad question you just asked. It is. It, it's a very specific joke. Um, and you know what? I, it, it, I said it out loud, but we'll just leave it there. <laughs> Look, I, did I just mention I'm not very smart at times? <laughs> like, you know, and I speak too fast? Huh? 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 <laughs> I mean, that's th why I'm here. There, there are these six little words that uh, almost always help me feel better when I'm having a bad day. Hey there, everyone, this is How Cow. Should I allow four? My goodness. I mean, How Cow has just been like LPing for ages now like he's one of the originals and he's still doing it and like you know it's it's just is almost always gonna be a good time when it's an LP of his and the fact that he does like like he always has three concurrent LPs and he puts out a video a day for all of them that's commendable like, I, I remember when I started trying to put out three videos for one series at a time. 
and that burned me out. That is old school YouTube grind. God. The grind was so different. Do you got Do you guys think it's better or worse that the 10 minute limit is up or the fact that there's no limit at all? Cuz you could put out more videos under a 10 minute limit. That's what was accepted. That was the world that it was, so we didn't think anything of it. But I mean, like now with all of the infinite whatever, you know, what's the right time? You have to have lots of editing if you really, you know, want to keep the attention of folks. Like, I know you can make your own time limit, but when there's a physical standard, the people conform better, you know, universally conform, because that's what it is. But, you know, now that that's changed, you know, so bro, you like the no limit, and you like it around 20 minutes, and yeah, you, you do. Yeah, and uh, like even even after the the limit raised and eventually lifted, like for example, deceased crab, like he still uh, try like tried his very best to stick to like the eleven minute limit that uh, was imposed previously. But like, I think he just started a new series. I I haven't actually watched any of the videos yet, but let me bring it up here. Uh, but I don't think he's doing that, uh, that voluntary limit anymore. Yeah, he, he started a game called Chance of Sonar, and the first two videos are about 20 minutes each. 21. 10, also, <laughs> also, I cannot find, uh... JLab 3. I'm at Shia Lab 3 now. This, I think, anyway, this looks like it's probably Shia Lab 3. Unless it's Shia Lab 4. I don't know. The The problem is, Dr. Shia is not here. Leave the town and come back. Maybe it will say again. Then I'm surprised you haven't made a Shia LaBeouf joke. Shia Beef. Oh. Just... Do it! Don't let your hands be flexible! <laughs> you know, I, like, I knew what it was. I've never actually watched it. Even to this day, I haven't watched it. I tend not to watch most meme things. And I can see why people felt it being inspiring. It's just but for me, I, I guess I'm just an old man and I was just like, it's like, just do it. It's like, yeah, I gotta go to work first. Hold on. And then if I'm <laughs> old and I take a nap later, so sue me. <laughs> but yeah, like, to, to give you an idea of the the stuff that I tend to watch on YouTube, like, most of the stuff is, like, either OG Let's Players or people have been doing it for a long time, like, uh, you and your brother and, uh, uh, frank matic Cow Cow with the Sea Scrap, uh, Nakatilili. And the other side of it is, like, a lot of tech channels, like LGR, uh, Adrian's Digital Basement, uh, yeah, just to give some examples. The, the latest thing that I've been kind of starting to go through is um, technology connections, which he he tends to do like older technology, but not like old computer technology. It's just old technology in general. Mm. And like the whole thing is making the connection with technologies of today. Almost a, tech, a, a technology historian. Sort of, yeah. And like also kind of explaining how things work as well. Like 
Just his his delivery is pretty good. And also sometimes like he just has like stealth puns that he sneaks into it. <laughs> like he he was talking about like uh Dietz brand uh storm lanterns and the fan of those lan the, like the fans of those lanterns which call who call themselves Dietz nuts. And anyway, both of these <laughs> lanterns Have I been here? Yeah, I have been here. So I remember that warp at the beginning. I don't know where I'm going. I need to friggin' look up a map at this point because I have no idea. Like a game this old is gonna have a map, right? Let's see. World map by Green with Envy. Well, while Cooley looks at the at at the map, I will entertain you, everyone. But da 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 da. Oh, sorry. Okay, I'll stop. Oh, well, now I have zero viewers. Um, it's funny how like you know we had a discussion on earlier today about. TV and certain shows like and just when things were in a in a more restrictive time like long before the days of the internet right the only source of media entertainment common was cable and certain shows just dominated you know a certain time a certain place a certain day or whatever I mean, I know for a lot of folks, Wednesday night was reserved for South Park, you know? There was... That's what everyone was watching, and if you didn't watch it the next day, everyone was talking about it, and you didn't know. <laughs> like... Yeah. Everyone watched South Park, you know? When people are sick, I think a lot of kids enjoy Price is Right, because it's the only yeah. time you get to watch it. Uh, e either oh. that or like a, a storm day or one of those random, uh... Like... I lived in California, we don't know what that is. <laughs> I mean, we don't fair, get those. but like... <laughs> like snow days or whatever, yeah, no, we don't get There's those. also like those teacher whatever the fuck days. Non-student days. There, you know, yeah, certain certain days or whatever and I mean like there was a time a point in time I'm look uh, look friends dominated everywhere that they couldn't show enough episodes of that well. show you know some people still to this day Jeopardy and Wheel of Fortune dominate their lives in the same time slot it's been for forever you know? Yeah, sa sadly oh. not the same hosts anymore, but I mean, the hosts are kind of getting old and one of them is dead. Uh, well, I, I also, do love Pat you Sajak know, yeah, Pat Sajak and uh, Bob Barker. Uh, no, Pat Sajak isn't dead. He's retiring. He's not dead. Alex Trebek is. Not, oh, yeah, I know. But I thought I said rest in peace, Alex. Okay, I. I I might have misheard you, I'm sorry. That's okay, I'm dumb. And you can just blame me. It's easier that way. Uh. <laughs> but now, not only are we not on a stuck time schedule waiting for a show to come out, we can watch anything, you know, in so many different platforms whenever we want. I mean, you provided know. that you have the money for those platforms. Yeah, or know a few folks, or, you know. Or, but or, or otherwise live in Canada, where if it's been on network television, it's legal to download. Nice! Um... Like... By the way, the I am not a lawyer, time. so do not take that as legal advice. I should probably <laughs> say that. 
As an American, I have no idea, so don't ask me. So. <laughs> Take your bags, we're going to Canada? Fuck no! It's cold up there. Look, it's 60 degrees, and I'm cold here, here in my place, and I'm whining like a bitch. You think I'll survive in Canada? Yeah, the, like, the couple a couple of days ago, it was like minus 16 with wind chill, which like in Fahrenheit is like damn near zero. How do you live? How do you people live? <laughs> By the way, this is the yellow forfeit. I finally found it. Ah! Quick, find my star rune. So strange, it's something I sold would end up here. I mean, if, if ever you had a dress from Barbenia and you sold it, it's probably here. And these are definitely things that I have sold. I don't know if it's all of the things that I've sold. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Zero. That's too much English for me. I, I don't think that affects me. But yeah, from, from what I've been told, uh, some of my first words were like, Crap, like higher or lower from watching the prices right. Awesome. <laughs> I, I don't think I ever had a death pick. I've been lied to. This this is not items that are exclusively things that I have sold. I remember for the longest time. Like, it's like. Oh, I this. Here's the master list. Really early on, like, you don't understand the concept of, of the betting, right? The whole without going over part. You yeah. Know? I remember when I was young, I'd be so confused why they would win when somebody goes, one dollar! Like. <laughs> You know, I, I remember in high school actually writing, like, a short story. Oh, geez, this is a maid cafe. Okay. We're getting a cutscene. I'll get to that story in a bit. Please buy something or I'll be so disappointed. Please buy a lot for me, please. I mean, there's not really anything to buy here. Fanboy made cafe. Um. So wait, what, what was I saying before? Bunny suits. That you you were talking about bunny suits. I uh, don't think I was talking about bunny suits, <laughs> but nice try. Uh. Well, here's a bunny suit. <laughs> and then you find and one. Bunny, and ears. bunny ears. Game, Game show. show You're going to oh force God, me make to buy an item. <laughs> okay, fine. Wine glass. Wine glass. Thank you very much. Please come again. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> I think I will come again. Definitely. Don't be ridiculous. We'll never come back here. I'll say, after all, am I not with Coolio? That's not what I meant. What are you saying? Such anger will cause wrinkles, you know. Not anywhere near that old I'll have you know. Also, I just crossed my arms and my earbud popped out of my ear. Yeah, I've, I've bought something now. Bye-bye. <laughs> You'll buy something even if you don't want to. Yep, I've had that experience now. I wonder if you have less oh, right. than two gold, what will happen? Uh, no idea. You might have to sell something. But yeah, I... <laughs> me, I um, me and Bro were thinking the exact same thing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I remember what I was going to say, by the way. I actually wrote a short story in high school. 
an English class, which I was in a French school, so that was an elective. But um, uh, I wrote a story about someone who was watching The Price is Right and just kind of uh, saw someone bet, uh, bid one dollar and like the guy watching didn't like it when they bid one dollar and one because they felt like one dollar bids were worth one dollar. Anyway, he was, uh, he kind of dozed off um, in, he, like he dozed off on his couch while they were playing the range game. And all of a sudden he has a dream where his house just starts going up into the sky with the with the whole sound effect. Doo, 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 doo. Is that the yodeling one? No, the rangefinder is the one where like the the range goes up the scale. It's like a hundred and fifty dollar range, and you have to stop it when the range is like within like covers the actual amount of the prize. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. And and you can't uh, you can't stop the rangefinder until you're sure because they can't start it again for 37 hours. And so like it went up and all of a sudden it stopped with a ding. And then ah. All right, re reset the rangefinder and get it ready for within the next 37 hours and the house just starts crashing back down to earth. By the way, I'm gonna steal your mind ring. I hope that's okay. You know, I've always wanted to play Plinko because it looks fun, but yes. prize-wise, it's kind of minuscule. House of Magic. I think I have a long nail, actually. Well, yeah, I have four of them. Can I not give them to you? Why are you here? We also said and a uh, uh, straw of straw doll. Straw so doll. did did he say and? No, he said or. Or. I have four long nails, dude. I I don't have any straw dolls. I guess I need to come back with one. Well, that was a weird interaction we just had. But there was the Isle of Forfeit. And it did indeed have things that, uh... that I have sold in the past. Okay, so now we gotta go to Carbis, which is Shia Lab 3, which is there. No. There. Okay. Just like the other side of the world from where we are. <laughs> but I did want to check out this place. I wonder what the wine glass does. Maybe it's something we have to use in battle. Okay, so now we gotta go... It's like a room where shady dealings happen. Well, uh, as long as the shady dealings are not made by slim people. No? Okay. Understood. I'm a Santa.
And now, now I'm just thinking of uh, the time that, uh, I think it was in an episode of Futurama. I'm Slim Shady. Yes, I'm the real Shady. My brother Slim Shadies are just imitating. So won't the real Slim Shady. Please stand up. Please stand up. Please stand up. Friggin' Bill Shatner. Baku. This isn't where we gotta go, but let's take a look around at the very least. Stranger was seen. Stranger danger. Tower of Light. Wait. So the Tower of Light. Then you can't reach. Oh, the Town of Lens. About like a tower that leads to a tower? Man named Clack. It is the 90s and there is time for Clack. Hey. I don't know about the key, you still have the key. You can use it any time. Okay, but do you have the key though? Because everyone's saying you don't have the key. Yep, that's an item shop, all right. Actually, I wonder if I were to sell a foul water, just one. I wonder if I can buy them now at the Yellow Forfeit. I'll check that later because we're we're running a little low time. What? A shrewd move, I approve. Ah, yes. Uh, the, the, only fi the only thing that I had heard you say was move. It's like, move where? I may have started talking before I hit the unmute button. I'm not mm -hmm. sure at this point anymore. Definitely did. Shiver even if you're not cold. It's like light is cold or something. No, that's not how light works. If anything light is warm, it is a source of energy. It screams from the Tower of Light? That's disturbing. Good book go! Rail, Cooper, and Clock as they travel together all over the world. But there, there is a um, my guy is a sailor. <laughs> That's my guy. I've heard this somewhere before. Yes, I think at the port in Larbina. He hasn't returned yet. I wonder why. Isn't Guy like a hermit now? Anyway, there's not a whole lot going on here at the moment. I just basically saw this town on the way to where we're supposed to be going and I was like, yeah, what the hell. I actually come to think of it, like, now that I've been to the town of Forfeit, I should be able to just work there, right? And I'm not gonna do that until I have, um, gotten to here, which is where we're actually supposed to go. Harvest. 
So now let's make sure that we can warp back to Carvis. We can. And we can also warp to forfeit. But we're gonna do that. Just right quick to see. We have items sold a long time ago. I'm not seeing it. Oh, there it is! Yeah, we can buy foul water now. I mean, I don't know how useful that's going to be. Uh, is it only one? No, it's, it's uh, ten though. Oh, can I only buy one, I think is what you're talking about. And yes, I can only buy the one. Uh, that's a good catch. I guess you can only buy as many as you sold, which is unfortunate. But at least this feature exists, right? It's like, oh no, I've sold something that I might have some use for now. And that might be useful for, like, if you've sold all of your, um... What was it? Long nails? Like, say, say that you've just sold all of them because you didn't figure you were going to use them. And now you get to the Isle of Porfa, it's like, Oh, I guess I could have used them for this random thing in the back. Whatever the hell's going on here. And anyway, Professor Rail's in the basement. Hey, you designed her engine. Oh, well, I mean, as far as the engine function, it seems to be perfectly fine. It's just as far as going underwater, it needs a little help. Oh, that was a mi- okay. I, I confused mind source and spell source. I meant to give that to Lufia. There you are. And I guess we can save here. I'll do that after the cutscene. Now let's search around. Business oil smell wonderful. All my fatigue disappears and I'm here. Do you want to try some? Sure. Oh, it's a free inn. See, don't you feel better now? Uh, apparently I do. But when you said oil, I mean, we're in a laboratory. I thought she was talking about, like, oil used as lubrication for machines. That's the thing that would make se sense, right? You, you don't want me to answer because I was checking something real quick, and I will not even describe what words I, I heard you start with. <laughs> okay. Anyway. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. I knew you just arrived, but could you go to Baku and bring back a man called Cooper? You should go and get him yourself. i oh, grow. Sorry, Professor. He's a really good fellow, but sometimes he behaves badly. His mind is worse. What? I just told the truth. Listen, you two, don't start here. Professor, you want us to bring Cooper back here? Yes, Cooper is my right hand man. I really need him to help me repair Falcon. It's probably at the cleric's hut in Baku. You'll find it if you travel due west. I'll be here preparing things. I'll, I'll let you handle Cooper. Anyway, I think we passed by Baku coming here, so we might be able to just walk there. Yeah. And 
He was at the cleric. He's not here. Oh. I heard that a man called Cooper was here. Cooper, he went to the old cave today. He said they finally reached the fifth level. He is bound to be there. By the way, what can I do for him today? Uh, nothing for now. I guess we're going back to the fifth level of the, the old cave. Thank goodness for the warp spell. And also for remembering where it is the old cave is. Be a little dull going through here because we already got all the things. I think that's the room where uh, the, the big money item was. Yeah, there it is. This is no place to meet people. Are you Cooper? How do you know my name? Who are you? I'm Coolio, if you don't know. Professor Real asked me to take it to you. Professor Real needs me? Then I have to go. Let's move. He's a bit strange, Coolio. Probably because he's Real's right-hand man. We'll talk later. Luckily, I have escape. I am always prepared. I'll take us outside. Escape. Good job. No, no, not right. Uh, uh, it's it's damp. No good. Nope. Jaren, please. Right. Escape. As far as I know, that was a free escape. Anyway, let's uh, use a less than free warp to go back to Carlos. That seemed like a place where you do a shady business deal. <laughs> hey, Cooper. How are you? Sorry for being away for so long, Professor. What can I do for you? I need you to help me repair Falcon. I won't travel underwater. I can see that. It's not ready yet. We need Illumina. I thought so. Is there any left? What's Illumina? It's a light metal that does rust. Falcon is made of Illumina. How much do you need? Uh, seven pieces should do it. Where can I find it? Well, there's a cave in the Fargo Islands. In Lens, there's a man called Brant. He knows where it is. Ask him. The Tower of Light is north of Baku. Lens is beyond the tower. I mean, we've already heard the uh the stories about the tower of light and how one can hear screaming at night from that tower and um also the fact that you start to feel cold as you approach it that seems like a bit of a risky proposition i don't know that i want to do that today Rest well. Prepare for the next adventure. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Anyway, as you might have guessed, that is the end of the stream. So I want to thank y'all for uh, watching, for hanging out. Uh, thank you to uh, Ganba, Zero, Jewel, Timmy, Mazzy, and also Flame Purge, the uh, main person who has made this uh, this compilation hack. 
uh, along with the help of others, but uh, I guess Flame Purge is like the person who released this thing, which was really cool for, for him to show up. Uh, so yeah, the next scheduled stream is going to be on Sunday at uh, 8 p.m. or later Atlantic Standard Time. It is the Sunday Super Shuffle. We're going to do some more Arc Bell shenanigans. And that takes us around the week, around the wheel, to our next long run stream next Tuesday at uh, 9 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time. And we will be heading over to the Tower of Light and see what terrors lie therein. Um, if you're on Coes, you can follow me there at CoolUMZX. You can also support me on LiberaPay uh, for a recurring payment or buy me a coffee for a one-time payment if you wish to do so. The links are in chat right now. Uh, so yeah, thank y'all for watching and hanging out. I'm Coolio if you don't know, along with J-Pop. Hey, goodbye everybody. And I will see you guys next time.